my fucking razor? No. You got a tip? No, I didn't use your razor. I was like, this fucking guy. <laughs> Nicky Pins here. With the coon. What up, what up? Hating some quads at the Next Level Fitness Center in Johnston, Rhode Island. I'm gonna show everyone how it's done today, like we usually do. I think this is actually the first time we're splitting up hamstrings and quads because uh, Nick's big boss man trainer is telling him that his legs are small, so <laughs> so he's gonna split up quads and hams. I don't know if he knows what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, seriously, um, our leg workouts are really long, so we're gonna split that up. We're gonna do about four quads, and then we're gonna, another day we're gonna come back when we hit the hit the hammies for that for that drop and that sweep. Jared's already got that drop and sweep. I don't know how, but uh, we'll get you guys in there. What's going on, peeps? So, we said we're doing quads, but we're doing hamstrings. The reason we're doing these, we do these first as a warm up to kind of warm up for our squats because John Meadows says that. And we do what John Meadows says, right, bud? Yo, I just kicked this thing so fucking hard. I didn't know that the bar went out. Yo, this is how he like usually tells you to do it. He goes, hit a fourth of a rep, and then a full rep, and that's one. The Meadows way? Yeah. Jay Coon and I using the camera bar today. Crystal Warren, good on here. <laughs> Definitely feel a little bit different than a normal squat. Center gravity is a little bit. All right, so we're over to that cambered bar, and then uh, when we got 275, the knees started hurting, so we switched over again to uh, straight bar. Nice. Anyone's wondering what's in this? It's 25 grams of carbs, 10 grams of aminos, 50 grams of D ball, and 5 grams of creatine.
I actually thought he was only going to be a seven. What? What? <laughs> He's got fresher legs than I think. Fresher legs. Good asshole. Knees feel good today. Six fish rolls this morning. Every time, like fucking, I don't even think of it. It's just like I tighten back, then I go, and then I'm like down. Straight line. That's yeah. It's fucking every time for money. I mean, I still get some pain in my knees, but it makes me keep these out. When you see that, you also tighten up your glutes to keep you straight. So it's almost like automatically yeah. you would engage in your glutes, hand flicks, and everything. And now I kind of notice why people, when they're like that, they look down or they're like here. Kind of like neutral rather than here. Oh, so yeah, see that's. Because now I'm like this. You know what I mean? It's all about spine. Yeah, I always, if you notice when I squat, I literally squat right here. Yeah. This straight, is all it's yep. straight, it's right here. Yep. It feels a lot better. Cool, cool, cool. Second exercise, just getting fucking started. About three hours into the workout. <laughs> Learned a lot about fucking squatting today. Definitely gonna try out some new stuff. So uh, our buddy E has been powerlifting for fucking years. Really good with his form and everything. Been waiting for him to be at the gym training while I'm here also so that he can help me out with my squat form. Gave me a lot of tips, watch me. Uh, looks like my feet were too close. So when I bought the ID powers, I was like, oh, maybe I can squat closer with my feet and that'll stop my knees from going in. Wrong, that's the opposite. So I brought my feet in closer and my legs were opened up. My hips were opened up on the way down, except on my way back up. My knees would always keep on coming in. And there was nothing I could do to stop that. So then I switched over to a much wider stance. He helped me out with that, Erwin. And uh, it felt, it, I, I felt, I felt just about as strong but at the same time, that's from going from a close stance for like the past five weeks to a wider stance. So I'm gonna keep playing around with it, keep it wide just like that, working a lot of hip mobility and see how my strength goes up with that. Make sure it's chugging away as we go here. This is by far one of the smoothest hack squats, but the worst 
unlatching. If that's a word. Ugh. Serious. Thumbs up if you like Jazz Katie's. Come on, bud. One more. He's doing that because his hips are really tight. He's stretching them out at the top. Push. Good shit. Cheers. Come on, bud. Nice. Let's get it. Come on. Get it. Right, let's go. Fucking pop, dude. Heels, heels. Good shit. Fucking failure, boys. Dude, I fucking suck, man. These are my least favorite. I like this shit about <laughs> right back in the typical corner toward the end of our leg workouts the only quad exception that's fucking feasible at this gym seriously Quick thing, try not to keep, try not to push the hips up like that. Try to keep your ass down the whole time. This little ball joint, I learned this from Jared. I had no idea about this. Basically this is gonna act as like your hinge on your knee.
So we're hitting quad extensions, and then we're gonna hit lunges right after this. It's gonna be a compound set. A compound set is when you hit the same muscle in two different exercises right after one another. So right after this, he's immediately gonna go into lunges, walking lunges. And uh, I think we said no weight, but Nick's feeling extra strong today and I think he's gonna pick up 30 pound dumbbells. Yeah. Let's get it. While he's on his way to the dumbbells, I'm gonna show you these machines. If you haven't noticed this, right here is the joint. Most machines will actually have a red dot like this. This is a glute. This right here is a hamstring curl. It's got the red dot. It's another hamstring curl with a red dot. Basically what that red dot is for is that's where your joint should be placed. So if you ever need help on uh, thinking about where the seat position should be on a machine, look for the joint on it and match your joint up with it. Mm-hmm. 